Hey, what's up? It's John. Thanks for downloading Minima. If you purchase it from the store, uh, amazing. If you're a member and you got it for free as part of your membership, amazing. Thank you for checking it out, downloading it. I'm going to install it into this test WordPress site that I have here. You can see that not much going on. I don't even have any. It's default Divi. I don't even have any pages in here uh, or posts. So it's completely empty. All I have here is just Divi installed. Uh, and so, yeah, I'm going to, I got Minima right here, and I'm going to install this as a theme, child theme technically, but, so I'll add new here, I'm going to upload the theme, choose this file, install, and I'm going to activate it here, awesome, and then what you're wanna, gonna do is you're gonna to wanna to go to Easy Demo Import Pro right here. And you're basically just going to wanna to import all of this. While that's importing, uh, I'm going to highlight a plugin that, oh, I maybe don't like when it does that. So you might have noticed in the demo, there's this, there's this uh, dark demo page that I, I clicked home on accident there. This this dark page that I did. Now for the for demo purposes, um, I basically just gave this this single page a class a body class, and then use CSS to style just this page to make it dark. I mean, if you wanted your whole website dark like this, then I would recommend just doing that in Divi through the theme options and, and changing colors on the pages. But if you did want one page that was dark like this, then you're going to need to grab a plugin from the WordPress repository called Custom Body Class. This one right here, you'll wanna, you know, so I'll download this as well. And I'll just have that sitting there, but that's what you'll want to grab. Okay, let me go ahead and get out of here. All right, so it's done. Um, you can remove this now if, you, if you'd like. I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then you can see we've got three posts, six pages. I'm just going to go to the settings reading, make sure that it set our home page for us. It did. Um, well, let's, let me clear our, our cache here. This is SiteGround's cache. And I'm just going to go check out and see how far we got with that import. All right, so far looking great. Uh, all the everything seems to be here. Let's just make sure the the footer came in because the footer is made. Okay, so the, didn't quite get the footer. So let's go check out and see what's up with that. And I'm guessing it also didn't quite get uh, the single post. Yeah, no, it didn't. Okay, so well, actually, that single post page is, is is a is a link toward the demo site single post. So that's not going to uh, yeah, we'll we'll check that out too here. All right, so first things first, let's go to the Divi theme builder area, and it, there's nothing here. So what you'll also get, uh, and I'll have a I'll link. I'll link to this below this video on the Minima demo site. There's a tutorials page. If you're watching this on YouTube, um, to get this theme builder file, just go to the, the Minima demo page, which is minima.madebysuperfly.com, and go to the tutorials page, and this video will be on there. It'll be the first one, and a link to download this theme builder file will be on there. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and import these. Import. Let's go out here on my desktop. Here's the Minima Theme Builder template. That's what I want. I'm going to go ahead and import that. Okay, great. This says unassigned right now. We'll we'll uh, take a look at that. I'm going to go ahead and save changes. This middle one is the is the dark the dark one. So we'll. Uh, Let's, now that I've saved those, let's go back to our pages. I do have this dark page here, so I'm going to go back to the theme builder. 
and let's just click this and say specific pages dark hit save save changes and again this is only going to make that one page dark so if you're not wanting one page of your website dark and the rest light don't even worry about this um, okay now let's go back out and see if it grabbed our footer so I'm gonna refresh the page and this should be replaced yep all right so we got that um, you'll notice that the background image for the menu is not here that's because you you link to a specific URL for that and there's a tutorial video on that it's very easy to change same thing with changing this buy now button the text and the link there's videos on that um, okay let's so let's go check out this dark page then because everything else and I bet I have to redo this single post I might have to yeah let's figure that out real quick let me let me go back to post here And so let me see, uh, let me copy the link here for this blog post one. I'll go to my menu and this single post item right here, I'll just read, I'll just put this in and see if that does anything to help us here. So go up here, pages, single post. Uh, it still does it. I'm going to pause this and see what's going on. Okay, uh, yeah, I figured it out, which is a good thing. It's a good thing to do this anyway after you import stuff to your WordPress site. Like, we're importing all these pages and posts. It's good just to resave your permalink. So you go to settings, permalinks here, and just hit save, and that, that fixed the issue. Um, and that's good to know anyway. Like, anytime you import a child theme or pages or posts, it's good to resave your permalinks because it just rewrites the URL structure for you, gets that all cleared up. So you can see now when I go to, you know, if I'm on the home page and I go to that single post now, not that you would ever link to a single post like this. You'd probably just link to, you know, to a, to a blog page, um, but that's there now. Um, make sure the blogs, yep, these are all in. That's good. Actually, I'll just open these all up in their own. Uh, window here make sure that they're all good yep great they're just simple let's check out the dark page and see you know again like I said if you want one single page on your website dark so you can see it, it got it pulled it all in but what it's not doing is it's it's not pulling in the right the right the right header and, and basically I wrote some custom CSS that inverts this logo from black to white makes this black and changes these colors and so that's where our that's where that custom body class WordPress plugin is gonna is gonna come into play this guy here so like I said if you want if you want your whole entire website to be to be dark then you would just go to the you know Divi theme options and start making you know making the making the background dark and go to each page and making all that but for this one, I'm going to go ahead and just upload this plugin. I'll install it. I'll activate it. And then I'll go to my pages area. And the way this plugin works is you don't go to the edit with Divi area. You, you just go to the edit area or click on the title. And then it adds this page classes. And you can see it already brought in my dark demo. But if that wasn't there... I would just add the class called dark demo save the page it should have came in you know it should like it, it came in with the import but so now when I refresh now my headers black the logos inverted these colors have changed um, yeah so and again the the uh, you can't have a background image here like let me go to the the demo You know, like this got this one, and then the dark page has a different one. All the other ones have this one. The dark page has a, has its own one that I... And this is in CSS here. And the reason why it's not working on your import is our, our demo sites are on a multi-site. And so since they're on a multi-site, uh, when you... The, the links for the 
media library are, are different. Uh, so you can see here, here's the link to ours minimum.mabesterfoot.com slash WB content upload and then the site 67. If, if that wasn't there, like let me go ahead and edit this and take away the sites 67. Uh, well, it's still, you'd still have to add it, you know, you still got to change the, the, the URL to whatever URL you want in your image library, your media library. And there's a video on the tutorial page on the Minima demo site that shows you how to do it. It takes like a minute, if that. So with that, it looks like everything got loaded in and now you can start editing. Um, you know, make sure to check out the other videos on the tutorials page uh, on the demo site and that'll get you set up nicely. All right, thanks again for supporting Be Superfly and for checking out Minima. Uh, love to see what you create with it. Send us a, go to our website, send us an email uh, or comment on this video. Uh, a link that you've that you've used us on. All right, cheers, y'all.